and here we are once again at Mark Shrine and as many of you in Britain know we've had some horrendous storms recently the result of which is that some trees by Mark Shrine have been completely brought down by the gale force winds so just to swing ground you can see this is outside number 10 and if you look you can see what the tree did here it's their tree from their uh, front garden unfortunately the sun is going to blind this out a bit but I think you can see that one of their main branches has completely broken off and in addition to that there are there is um, there's been quite clearly the need for some work to fell other trees brought down in the storm so if anybody gets here very quickly there are some logs look if you've got a wood burning stove and want to get around the gas prices price rises and as we come here back to mark shrine you can see that whoever felled this has very thoughtfully kindly and considerately not taken it away as they should but has left it here blocking off Mark Shrine I just love people like that I don't love people like that that was I was being sarcastic as I'm sure you all know that part up there that you can see is absolutely definitely from number 10's garden I recognize the pine cones and there is absolutely no way that we can physically move all this it's something which the council should have done already and I'm very disappointed to discover they haven't so I'm just going to step over this. Yes, there I am. I'm going to step over it. Oh, one step. Trying not to fall over. And two steps. And here we have a beautiful bed of buttercups. And swinging round. There is our smart car with our gubbins in it to do our cleaning, tidying and polishing and a tribute here I'll just zoom in on that it's lovely but unfortunately of course now it's past it and sadly this has been broken, possibly by the falling trees. As you can see, quite a lot of the Care Bears are still here that were put there by, by um, fans with their tributes in September. And so to continue as we go up, uh, hmm. Yes, that needs attention, that needs attention, so the next time we come we will be bringing more of these uh, chippings, although we're going to use black ones uh, next, those are, at, they're recycled um, tyres. And they're good because they drain better than 
the bark chippings. And here, oh, poor little dinosaur, he's lost his head. <laughs> Somebody's left a one ring. And there is Mark resplendent in a pale pink feather boa that I think was probably more pink before the sun got it. And there is Mark looking like he needs a good polish. And here is the memory board. with messages from Sue Kirkland. Hello Sue. Uh, from the 17th of September last year. As well as other tributes. So that is our before video pretty well concluded and so the next video will be the after we have done as much as we can to clear up that ridiculous amount of trees that are here at the moment I remember a while ago somebody going on about why TAG needed money when all we had to do was do it once and then we would never need to do anything again and that why did we constantly fundraise? And I hope now that people understand a lot more that Looking after Mark Shrine is an ongoing commitment which requires regular visits, regular work. The steps need changing and replacing on a regular basis. The residents insisted on us using um, railway sleepers rather than concrete, brick or slab which would have been a lot easier to have maintained. Oh and there goes a train. And here somebody has actually planted a rose bush which is at the moment surviving. And of course as you can see we need to replace these chippings. These ones cost £200 for the sacks that we used last. Uh, just like here. Uh, and that's about it. So stay tuned. Same Mark time, same Mark channel.